Uh, okay, hello. Um, I have no idea if my mic is working on stream. Uh, sorry, I needed a little bit to make sure everything was working. Um, also, for anyone who's just tuning in right now, uh, the first map was recorded uh, privately. Uh, again, I was setting stuff up on the overlay. Sorry about that. I uh, had some technical difficulties, but I think we're mostly on the board now. Uh, let me see if everything is working. Oh, I forgot to change the map.
for the time being while you fix that. Sunda 3 and Z Storm K 19 from inside of Brazil. Uh, I think they uh, need to sort the players out a little bit. It seems like it's going on in the chat right now. Also, I think I will try to get the uh, Twitch chat to show up properly soon. Give me a second to try to figure that out as well. Oh, panicking on the client. Alright, and everyone is in the lobby, that's good to see. So we have a pretty interesting uh, mod combination going on here. We've got a hidden hard rock on both teams, a double stack hard rock uh, for Brazil. And a one hard rock, one hidden for the side of Spain. So, uh, mod combination multiplier technically favoring uh, Brazil for this one, but not by much. Um, extra hard rock does have a slightly higher multiplier, so that does uh, affect a little bit. But in terms of actual score right now, we are seeing a three-way. This is a uh, tentative one-way. Paladex only with a, a brief break earlier in the map. Uh, although this is a pretty short map, so it uh, might change a little bit depending on if anyone breaks up soon. Nope, not gonna happen just yet. Accuracy also looking a little bit better on the side of Spain. Uh, there goes Music Drops as one of the FCs gone, but Yelon is gonna trade it. Still, Sunda 3 on the Hidden Hard Rock FC. His accuracy could use a little bit of work though compared to Silva, pulling a 97.7 at the moment. Uh, looking like a pretty good win for Spain, assuming no disasters happen. There goes Paladex, that was uh, one of the higher scores. Storm K gonna get a break, and there goes Zilva. That's one of the FCs gone as well from Spain. Now it's gonna be Sunda 3 versus Isayoi. Well, identical accuracy, slight multiplier advantage from Sunda, and also a very good sport of combo from Kakir as well. But his accuracy really struggling. It's gonna take a little bit for anything to happen here. There goes the break from Sunda, and Isayoi still holding on, and that is gonna be a solid win for Spain on the Hundred K difference in climbing as we keep going into the last part of the map. Let's see if Easyway can pull off the FC with Hard Rock. Looks like they will. Just a couple doubles here, and that is gonna be it. And a very, very impressive score from the Spanish side here. Got a 668k, one miss from Zilva on the hidden hard rock. Uh, Sunda also doing about the same, uh, but the accuracy definitely coming into clutch there for the side of Zilva. Izioi with the only FC in the lobby, and uh, also shoutouts to the good supporting score on Brazil for Kakir M holding a 600. Wait, that wait, 60, 60, 60 score. That's crazy, and a zero miss. Okay, <laughs> that's a, that's a hella aesthetic score. I gotta respect that. Damn. All right. Alright, so now, uh, I think we are good to go here. Let me uh, go ahead and uh, change the map.
This map, uh, if I'm not mistaken, a little bit more on the gimmicky side. Uh, Airy obviously adding a layer of reading to it. A pretty different map from what we saw on Free Mod 1, so uh, don't be too surprised if, uh, you know, completely different rosters and also completely different scores. For the time being, though, uh, gonna be seeing uh, Kakir and Impala Dex stay. Uh, new players coming in for Spain Angel, XC, Rum Powell, and Sakori. We also have Lacer and 999, Kalel 999 for Brazil, waiting for their last player. And uh, yeah, looking to hopefully get this one on the board to even out the scoreline. Again, only a best of nine, so every map is going to matter as much as possible. Really got to be super careful. And T-Light is going to be the last person to round out the Brazil roster here. Waiting on the good luck, have funds from both these teams. I think uh, we're good to go now. All right, perfect. And everyone loaded in properly. He loved to see it. Oh, and it's not showing the right Twitch chat. <laughs> I, it, <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure there's some great stuff going on in the other one, but it is uh, not this. <laughs> oh wait, is it like wait? What the? Whoa, wait, it's loading like two different chats. What is that? Uh. Okay, that's that's really trippy. I <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Uh, give me one second. That is trippy. That is not what I expected. Give me one second to figure that one out. Uh, yeah. I need a quick refresh on the overlay to fix that. Okay, I think we're good now. We are good. Perfect. Okay, my bad. That was really trippy. Alright, so, uh, already looking really solid for the side of Brazil, only one break on T-Light, oh, never mind, Sundog gonna get the break, Angel XE trading, everyone kinda struggling on this one, two FCs to two, we got Rumpel and Paladex versus 999KL999, I'll just say Kalel, uh, and Facer. About equal, uh, stuff on, uh, yeah, yeah actually, about equal combo for the supporting players here, uh, accuracy is not really gonna make too much of a difference just yet. Oh my god, it's still merging. I'm. Oh my god. Okay. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I do not know why it's doing that. Okay, here comes the hard part though. It's gonna be Sunda getting the first break. Paladex, one of the FCs gone for the side of Spain. And a lot of breakpoint potential kind of vanishing into thin air. 9 9 Kalel making it work. Vaser as well holding on. Run Powell doing the best he can for his team, but it's not gonna be enough. And Angel XC as well. Sakori breaking on the last section of that. There goes Kalo. But it doesn't matter. The damage has already been done. T Light and Facer making it work. And uh, that is going to be a good second pick for Brazil and evening out the scoreline 2 2 for them. I'll try to fix the Twitch chat issue. I could not tell you what's going on with that. Uh, but we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Trust me on this one. Uh, okay. Might need another quick refresh on this. Alright, we'll find out in the next map if it worked properly. We'll see. Alright, so it's going to be Spain's pick next. So we'll go ahead and switch over to...
Uh, okay, sorry. I, I forgot that the uh, audio device doesn't transfer over to OBS. I'm dumb, don't worry about that. <laughs> That's my own issue. Okay, anyways. Uh, so, right now... Looking like Spain's gonna probably go with the DT. Um, they protected DT3, they still have DT2 open, DT1 is also available. Uh, there aren't really any super other clear tapping maps, I would say. Uh, they did win at Free Mod 1 and No Mod 2, after all. So, hard to say if their high BPM is really feeling it, though. Uh, meanwhile, for Brazil, definitely going for uh, kind of like a gimmicky approach. They went No Mod 3 and No Mod 5, so alt reading. Wouldn't be surprised if we see them go more into like a hidden one potentially or free mod two. Uh, either way though, uh, still all eyes on Spain to see what they go for next. And it's going to be a DT3 pick, so their Protect coming in. This is uh, Drums on the Wheel. So, a uh, bit of a higher AR map. Not exactly. It's not you know fully AR-10, but you know it's a little higher than your typical AR-8. Uh, 225 BPM, definitely more of like a raw stamina pick. You know, very in line of what we saw on the Mod 2 and Free Mod 1. You know, only, it's only natural, right? I think the uh, rosters for this one probably going to be the same on both sides, uh, like what we saw previously. Um, chances are, if you can play Nomad 2, you can probably play DT3, or any equivalent of this kind of map. And uh, same thing for like a free mod speed, you know, you probably just, you probably play the same thing, you know. Not really anything too different there. Alright, and I think uh, at this point we should be more or less set for the Spain roster here. We got Zilva, Palodex, Izioi, and Music Drops. Uh, meanwhile, for Brazil, still waiting on a couple players here. Uh, gonna be Sunda3 coming back in, Z Storm K making a reappearance, Yelan as well. And, uh, yeah, I mean, actually, I forgot. I don't have the MP link uh, saved for. <laughs> yeah, I don't have the MP link saved for the command in this channel. Let me go ahead and uh, edit that if I can. Oh, wait, I don't think Nightbot's working. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Uh, give me one moment to <laughs> set that up again. I it's actually I think it's been so long since I've used this channel that uh, it just doesn't work anymore. That's pretty unfortunate. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, let me uh, double check. Okay, yeah. Okay, let, me, let me go ahead and edit that real quick. Sorry, Kanye Cup. That's not happening anymore. Okay. Alright, MP Link is now updated, and the last player is going to be Kakir M, same as we saw on the previous speed map. Oh my god, it's still doing the thing. Okay, hold on. Let me try this one. Alright, we'll see if it updates properly, but for now, uh, back to the gameplay. Uh, going to be basically four FCs on... Oh, never mind. Okay, there goes Sunda. Uh, Paladux did break pretty early on into map. Z-Storm K! Oh, getting another break. Uh, not looking too hot in that aspect there. Still basically four away from the side of Spain, though. Gonna be a break from music drops, but uh, nothing too crazy just yet. Still got the three-way versus the two-way and the two sporting scores. And music drops getting another break. Not gonna matter just yet. Score. Oh wait, that. Ooh, the act drop got a little dicey there. Uh, I think it might be very. Paladex! What? Oh my. Oh my god. What was that break? And that's actually gonna swing it over to the side of Brazil. That's. <laughs> he broke on the on the slow bus slider. You hate to see it. That is brutal. Um, yeah, now this is very heavily in favor for Brazil. Not what you want to see. Um, oh my god. 
And uh, Easy Way also got a break as well, I didn't even notice that. So now we got the uh, two way plus the supporting sword from Sunda, and only one FC on Zilva for the side of Spain. I think it might kind of be over at this point, only a quarter of the map remaining. It's going to take a bit of a disaster for anything to change now. But I don't think it's going to happen. Going to be Sunda getting a break, Yolanda as well, but Kakir M holding on to that, I believe, FC. Zilva as well, matching each other. Paladex getting another unlucky break, and yeah, this is a break point for the side of Brazil. Not what you want to see, especially on the Protect uh, that Spain did. I still do not know why it's merging the Twitch chats. I, I, I don't know. I'll, I give up. It, it'll, we'll find out later. Anyways. So yeah, 2-3 to three now. Not exactly the situation you want to be in as if you are Spain. Especially losing on your own Protect. I really cannot emphasize how much that hurts. Because, uh, you know, you think you have that map in the bag. Like, you really do, right? That's the, kind of the whole point. But, you know, when you lose it like that, it's pretty... You know, pretty mental booming. Shoutouts to the S rank from Izioi and the FC A rank from Zilva. I think the 50s uh, kind of killed it there. Kakir M also getting an A rank, uh, although I don't believe that was an FC. Either way, though, uh, definitely good performance on Brazil there. Nice upset for them. Uh, music drops and Paladex not having a great time, though. And uh, now it's going to be time for Brazil to pick. Um, unfortunately, even though they did get the breakpoint... Uh, I'm not really sure where they go from here. Uh, after all, they did... Yeah, okay, so they won Nomad 3, won Nomad 5, and won DT3, but I don't think they're going to pick the other DTs. Hidden was double banned by Spain, but Brazil still hasn't capitalized off of that yet, so they're probably hesitating in general for just picking Hidden. Uh, also, no Hard Rock so far, and one of the Hard Rock, uh, th hard rock 3 specifically was banned by them, so I don't think we'll be seeing that from Brazil. Hard to say for sure. It could be map dependent. Personally, the thing that makes the most sense to me would be free mod 2. Probably the most in line with uh, the maps they've won so far. But that upset went on DT3, probably kind of making them scratch their head a little bit. Like, huh, maybe maybe we could try something higher BPM. Maybe these guys are not as good at tapping as we thought. Still waiting on their pick, though. Oh, I'm not sure where the VC overlay is showing them. And it's going to be hidden one. Yep, okay, finally, Brazil opting to... Uh, or not Brazil, wait. Yeah, okay, the, sorry, the picks are wrong on the uh, thing here. Just realized that's a bit of a moment there. Should be this pick. There we go. All right. Yeah, not sure what happened there, but it's all good. So yeah, hidden one pick gonna be the only hidden remaining uh, in the map pool after the double ban from Spain. Why is it still show Spain picked it? That is just not true. <laughs> there we go. So, roster might be pretty different on both sides here. We're going to be seeing uh, Thacer, Yolan, T Light, and Kakir M for Brazil. Uh, meanwhile, we got Zilva, Angel, XC, Sakori, and a potential last player. Not sure who it will be. Um, it'll be kind of interesting. And I think the roster... Oh, never mind. I, th I thought the roster was complete. It is not complete. Uh, okay, so... Spain's roster seems to be good, though. Zilva, Angel, XC, Sakori, and Rumpal. And they're actually going to be a first appearance uh, for Dotro, or Dotro, on Brazil. Interesting to see how he does for a first appearance, especially this late into the match. 
Uh, could be a chance for Brazil to get a match point for them. Hard to say for sure. Good luck, have funds are out. Map is going to be starting. Here we go into Bergen Trukung, I think. Tru Trukung? Uh, I'm not exactly German. Uh, this is Devious Panda's Extra. So, as you can expect for a Devious Panda map, this will be a bit of a difficult uh, map to read. Also, just tapping in general, lots of uh, awkward patterns to look out for. It's a bit on the uh, a bit on the longer side, if I'm not mistaken. Could change a couple things. Yeah, I, I'm not really sure why Stream's using the main shot. I've tried fixing it, but it just doesn't seem to be doing anything. I'll see if I can uh, fix stuff uh, more in the meantime, but... That's <laughs> great. <laughs> Zilva already getting a first break, and uh, the one we hear the audio from. Gotta love. You love to see it. You love to see it. No one else breaking so far, though. You look, that's looking pretty good. Bra oh my god, uh, I was gonna say, break's not looking too crazy just yet, we got Dontro missing right before the hard part, or the slow section, sorry, right after the hard part. Uh, Angel XC breaking right at the beginning of the slow section, and uh, Rumpow also getting a break in between. So Corey, the only FC remaining- Ah! Never mind, not an FC, my bad. Goodbye, Sakori. So it's going to be uh, two FCs on the side of Brazil to keep this going for them. Uh, yeah, it looks like the hidden pick going to be the big one for Brazil. Another break coming in from Angel XC, and yeah, really there's, no oh, Zilva, the highest combo from Spain, going to be gone, and yeah, that's, I think that's pretty much going to seal it. Brazil going to be winning this one by a landslide as long as these combos hold up, and even then, their accuracies are miles ahead of Spain. This is a, uh, yeah, this is definitely a uh, hidden moment. Either you know how to play it, or honestly, sometimes you just don't. <laughs> and the level of comfort here definitely making itself well known for the side of Brazil. T Light gonna be getting a break. That's one of the FCs gone, but Thacer is there to make it work. And even then, uh, Kakiram and Dotro getting very good supporting combos, outmatching everyone else on Spain. Yeah, it's a uh, full team outperformance from Brazil. <laughs> I could see why Spain double banned hidden. Uh, this is kind of. Yeah, I would not want to be in the position if there was another hidden map available, but there isn't, so, you know, that's a free point gone. Oh, Thacer almost got the FC, I'm gonna miss on the flow squares. Understandable, though, that pattern is uh, pretty difficult. Dotro holding the line here, Kakir and breaking on them as well, but it's totally fine. Map's already done and dusted. Zilva actually doing a pretty good job, though, holding up the team uh, for Spain. Maybe about to out pass Kakir? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think. Oh, wait. Oh, it's gonna be. Oh, never mind. Nope, he's not outpassing him. Okay, that's it. Alright, so that's gonna be match point for Brazil. Looking good for them so far. Gotta respect that. Alright, so time for Spain to try to come up with something to get this match back in their hands. Bit of a difficult situation to be in, but I think they can probably make it work, hopefully.
Oh, and uh, looks like Spain are going to be using the timeout. Pretty understandable. I mean, this is a pretty tough situation to be in. Probably one of the one of the best times to use it. You know, make sure you know what you're doing before you uh, try getting back the match. Oh, there it goes. Uh, oh, okay. Damn, all the map pool stuff is gone. That's really unfortunate. Uh, damn. <laughs> Uh, give me one second to redo that. Ah, that's really annoying. Okay. Let's see if I can get this to work. Alright, I think we are good to go now. Everything should be updated on the map pool. Still uh, on their timeout for Spain, I believe. Not really sure why the chat's not working, though. Bit odd. Alright, there we go. Now the chat's working. It's going to be a Hard Rock 1 pick coming in from Spain. It's going to be the potential last map for them if Brazil can make it work. But uh, if not, it could be their chance to get some momentum back in the match here. Let's see how this one goes. Gaki Band, uh, Ikusa, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, pretty standard Hard Rock one, I would say, but on the easier side, potentially. 196 BPM instead of like maybe 210 or something like that. So, I think uh, roster for this one, haven't really seen Hard Rock from uh, any of these teams at all, or even AIM in general. We just haven't seen any AIM. Uh, Hidden one, not exactly a typical AIM map, and uh, Nomad 1, DT1 have not been picked yet. So, uh, yeah, I think it's uh, valid to say that this is going to be kind of uncharted territory for Spain. Unfortunately, they won't have the chance to pick an aim after this, but then again, uh, Brazil doesn't really have any super obvious picks remaining at this point. So, we'll see how the Rosses turn out for this one. We got Zilva, Angel XC, Rumpel, and Ezioi for the side of Spain. Uh, players we've all seen before. Uh, meanwhile, for Brazil, uh, 999 and Yolan staying in the lobby. Kakir M making a reappearance. Uh, potential for the last one, it's going to be Z Storm K. And uh, yeah, this one, a lot on the line here. This could be a early. Uh, I think actually, let me double check to see if this is a, a winner's bracket or not. I believe this is in losers, actually. So uh, whoever loses this one is going to be out of the tournament. Definitely a lot on the line here. Really need to be careful about that. So here we go. Time for Hard Rock 1. Gotta wait for everyone to load back in. Okay. Accuracy advantage, uh, looking pretty good for the side of Spain. Oh, but there's the break from Izuway as I say that. So, uh, oh god. 
there it is uh, for Brazil. As long as they have their four FCs going, they should be able to build up a nice score lead. Also, I just noticed Ron Powell had good accuracy before, but the stream is going to mess him up a little bit there. Now he's dropped down to 94, well below everyone else in the lobby. Uh, meanwhile, for Brazil, they are holding on to consistent 98s across the board, except for 999. Here comes the first major key eye of the map. Ezio getting another break, not what you want to see. Especially when this is their potential last map in the tournament. Uh, Yolan gonna trade the break from Ezioi, but still, he had built up a lot more score than he did. Gonna have to see another break from the side of Brazil in order for this to start going over. A little shaky on the uh, sliders there from Kakir, but uh, still holding on as much as he can. And uh, there's good. Wow, very unlucky slider break from 999, and that is gonna start swinging the score lead over. Accuracies have more or less normalized at this point between all the players here. And the score lead inching forward, getting closer and closer to Spain's side. But we're only halfway through the map, and really with the score lead this close, anything can happen. It all rests on the extra full combo that Spain have. Out of Zilva, Angel XE, and Rumpal. Here comes a bit of a tricky slider jump-ish section. Couple burrs. Not gonna mess up anyone just yet. Here comes the solo. Easily gonna break again, but not the player that Brazil needs. Rumpal, though, that's gonna be the one. The bus slider is gonna mess up 999 and Rumpal. Two FCs to two, but a better supporting score from Milan. Gonna bring it back to Brazil's side by a knife's edge. Extra misses from 999. Rumpal breaking again. It's all eyes on the two FCs. Kakir M, Z Storm K. Oh my god, Z Storm, dude. No. No, that is not. Uh, that's not the time. That is not the time to break. Oh, okay. That is going to bring it over to the side of Spain as we go into the last quarter of the map here. Yolan trying his best with the supporting combo, but as long as Angel XC or Zilva hold on, it's not going to change. Going to keep swinging it over. The stream's gonna mess up Yolan, but it's not gonna mess up Angel XE. Never mind the jumps right after Duke. Kakir M versus Zilva. If either of them break, it's actually just gonna decide the map here. Rumpal, Izioi doing their best to keep the score lead on their side. Holding the line as much as possible, but still all eyes on Zilva. He needs to do it, but he was the hidden hard drop goat in the previous maps. We saw it before, and he's gonna prove it once again. Kakir M trying his best, but it's just not going to be enough. And that is going to be the FC from Zilva and Kakir M, as well as the supporting scores from Angel XC, Rampal, and Izioi. Uh, one S rank on both sides, obviously, for the FCs, but still got to give props to Brazil for putting up a damn good fight there. Uh, really, every player had the counterpart, but unfortunately, everyone on Spain was able to outscore the uh, other counterpart, even just by a little bit. So, yeah, Spain are back in this match. That was their own pick, but a little shaky for their own pick, but it's also the last one that they have. Now it's going to be Brazil's turn to pick, and they really have to be careful here. Uh, I would not want to face, uh, face Spain on a tiebreaker, especially with the momentum on their side. So, yeah... Unfortunately for them, they don't have a hidden. They don't really have like a straight reading map left at this point. So, uh, they... I don't know, the options are very thin. You got Nomad 1, DT1, which you probably don't want to do after just losing Hard Rock 1. Uh, DT2, but that is also a high BPM speed map. And, uh, you know, previously in the match, we saw Spain winning Nomad 2 and Fremont 1. So, Fremont 2, Hard Rock 2 could potentially be the only options here. But I don't know how comfortable Brazil feels on a Precision specifically. Personally, if I were them, I would chance in the free mod too, especially with some of the free mod rules in this tournament. So, I don't know. I really don't know. It's going to be a bit iffy.
Oh, uh, Brazil running over their timer. They uh, got to figure out their pick pretty soon. Prima 2. Yep, that's going to be the pick. There we go. Makes sense. Kind of the one uh, I was predicting. I mean, I really don't know where else they would go from here. I think any last pick is always going to feel a little bit shaky, so you just got to take your chances on what seems to be the best. So it's going to be Prismatic uh, Lollipops by DJ Mashiro. Did the pick go through? Yes, it did. All right. So yeah, Mod Combination is going to be the name of the game here, and I do think overall uh, Brazil have a better reading roster than Spain do. I mean, AR8 CS5 kind of inherently favors the reading players if you're comfortable on it, you know? Precision always has that kind of, uh, you know, a little bit of an RNG element to it, right? You know, maybe you just over aim one small note and so on, but as it goes for reading maps along uh, this kind of caliber, uh, really aim isn't going to be a major issue, it's just how comfortable you are with uh, kind of just AR8 in general, especially with hidden. Thinking the roster is going to change a little bit here. I'm expecting to see someone like T-Light come back in for the side of Brazil. Could also potentially see a hidden hard rock stack. Would not surprise me at all. Um, I could definitely see it. You know, maybe Zilva those uh, hidden hard rock to let someone go no mod. Could also see the same thing for Kakir M. No Sun to 3, unfortunately. I think he was uh, one of the hard rock players from uh, Free Mod 1. But this is also a completely different map, so makes sense. Look how funds are out. Looks like this will be it, folks. The last pickable map for this match, and potentially the last map for either team, really. Um, I don't know. Like the well, I say last map for either team in the sense of uh, last map before we get to the inevitable tiebreaker. I don't know what's gonna happen here. Uh, either Spain gets knocked out with uh, this. Oh, five mods. Wait, who's five? Okay, I guess someone is. Is there a maximum? Wait, is there a maximum mod amount? I did not know that. Oh wow, wait, that is insane overmod for the side of uh, Brazil. Alright then. So we got a uh, hidden hard rock on Kakir M, hard rock on Seastorm K, two hiddens from T Light and Thacer. Uh, meanwhile, though, pretty standard hidden hard rock stack from Zilva, hard, uh, hard rock on Easy Light, and hidden on Paladex. Already kind of off to a rough start for Spain. Uh, gonna be seeing Ezioi and Paladex with the uh, early breaks. Understandable that they are the modded players. They're kind of the ones you expect to see having a bit of issues. Meanwhile, though, we still got three F two, two FCs, two FCs on Brazil. We got Z Storm K breaking just after I said that. Uh, but they and Kakir M holding on strong. This is a pretty short map too. Could change at a moment's notice here, still two FCs on Spain as well, although not with mods uh, for Rem Powell. He's really having a lot of trouble with the Hard Rock specifically. There goes Paladex again! And uh, Kakir M actually going to be getting a break, that's one of the FCs gone, it's going to bring the score lead over. There goes Z-Storm K, T-Light, and Thacer versus Rum Powell and Zilva. Only a very small sliver of the map remaining, it could go over the Spain side last second. But it's all eyes on Thacer, T-Light, Rum Howell, and Zilva. There goes Thacer! That's the break from Brazil. And it might, it's going to flip over last second. There's the break from Zilva, though. Oh, the last stream might determine it. There goes... Oh, my... We, we, oh! oh, that's going to be it. The break from uh, Zilva at the end there. And same for Rum Powell. And T-Light holding on for dear life at the ending there. It was flipping back and forth between the two teams. Really, just off of every note, but unfortunately, it's not going to be enough. And Brazil are going to close out this match. No tiebreaker, unfortunately, for the viewers, but very fortunately for Brazil. And, uh, you know, very sadly, Spain will be exiting 5WC with this loss. But they put up a really good fight. Um, oh, wait, is there... Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, at least four mods. At le okay, so you can have more mods if you want. I, I It's crazy to say this, but I think the extra mod actually made the difference here for Brazil. Even if it was just a little bit of an extra multiplier, you saw how close that score lead was. So... Yeah, that's going to be it. Brazil will be moving on to the quarterfinals. Loses bracket in 5WC 2024. Spain, very good effort from them. Hopefully, uh, we'll see more of their players later on in uh, other tournaments. But for now, that's going to be it. Uh, okay, I haven't checked the winner's tab on the OBS thing. Let's see if it works.